I think it's he's he's played a lot of really good first class cricket leading up to this point and and in all formats really and he's he's sort of put those performances back on the board and um, it's great to see him out there doing his thing and and enjoying his cricket and and playing freely. What about you? Did you enjoy it out there today? I mean, it's not often spinners get three or more wickets in the first innings of New Zealand. So um, how do you see your uh, team? Yeah, it's nice to be able to contribute to to a first innings lead, and um, yeah, it's it's one of those things where you just want to do the best you can when you get thrown the opportunity. So um, yeah, to to take three wickets in the first innings is. As, as a nice sort of surprise, I guess, a little bit. But, um, yeah, just trying to really do my job for the team and what's required at the time. Yeah, I was going to sum it up when you saw it starting to turn here against England as well. Is that a strange feeling seeing it um, turn about as a place? Yeah, I've seen a little bit um, domestically. So I guess it's not a complete surprise. But I guess the the amount of turn and bounce is probably a little bit of a surprise. You sort of might get it on the last day of a four-day game in, in first-class cricket. So, yeah, to, to happen on day three is, is pretty exciting as a spinner. How do you see, how do you see things going from here? I mean, you've got some pretty, pretty good position, but a bit of weather around, but you're pretty confident you can close it out by sort of tomorrow sometime? Yeah, well, yeah, I think it's not really looking too far ahead. We've got a big job. Um, the two guys at the crease at the moment are obviously very experienced and, and have scored a lot of test runs. So it'll be a massive challenge at getting one of those guys out and then just trying to work our way through the order like that. Um, yeah, you sort of obviously have that goal in the end, but really trying to concentrate on what you're doing in the moment. How much does it feel to be so involved in the game, like just beyond bowling on it, but be there for the run out and also to be in the slips as well for, for the catch? Yeah, as I said, it's it's awesome to be out there and, and involved in the game and getting a bit more of a bowl in the first innings was, was pretty cool. And then, yeah, obviously, I, I love being involved in the game, being an all-rounder, you sort of... You, you get a chance to be in the game a lot more than, than say, just a genuine bowler or better. So, yeah, it's it's a great opportunity to be out there. And I, I also pride myself on my fielding. So, yeah, really enjoy getting out there and, and getting dirty for the boys and, yeah, hopefully creating a chance or taking a catch. Did you feel like the ball was following you around at various stages? There's a couple of cracking through it around the drives that you were... Yeah, I, he certainly found the middle of his bat there, didn't he? He's, he's hit those pretty hard and yeah, got a couple of bruises on the hands to show for it. But yeah, it's all part of it in the game of Test cricket. And did you feel your eyes lining up when Chandamal uh, advanced out of the wicket? Yeah, I was a bit surprised he missed it, to be honest. It did, it did bounce and turn a little bit more than probably I expected as well. So yeah, it's, it's one of those ones that... You see him come down and you know it's, an, it's a chance that it could be a wicket, but it's probably also a chance of going out of the ground. So, yeah, that's the, that's the game of being a spinner, I think. And, yeah, it's exciting and, and just try and keep putting them in a good area and, and you never know what will happen. Can you talk about the bruises on the hands that Tom Lake throw must have been coming in a few row knots as well? Yeah. That. Yeah, that's the one that bruised me, actually. Oh, but, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, so, yeah, no, it's been, been a good day's cricket for us. And would you feel, you know, Yeah, I think that um, the support in New Zealand in general has been amazing. But, yeah, obviously, particularly being a home game for, for a few of us um, and, and the support on the bank is brilliant. Yeah, the Wellington faithful get out um, for the Super Smash and, and also Test Cricket. So, it's, yeah, it's, there's a real hum around the ground and you, it's lovely to see the banks full and, and the people enjoying their cricket. Michael, you've got a high-field gun track. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about uh, the opportunity to, to join RCB. I think, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that's a little bit, little bit strange happening in the middle of a game. So haven't, haven't afforded myself too much time to get too excited because obviously, yeah, there's a big game in front of me. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited for, for getting over there um, in, a, in a couple of weeks' time and, and joining up with the team and, yeah. Yeah, he's he's been immense for us both with bat and behind uh, behind the stumps in the in the last couple of years, and it's it's great to see all all the hard work paying off. It's probably quite fitting sitting in here in the in the indoor nets at the basin, where he's he's spent years and years and years honing his craft. He's a 
Wellington local, and I'm sure he's spent, well, I've seen a lot of time in the last seven years where he's been in this, this facility right here working hard on his game, both, both batting and keeping. So, yeah, it's a credit to him for all the hard work that he's put in and, and also, yeah, just going out and, and expressing himself and, and, yeah, the team environment that allows him to go out and play the way that he plays. Just keep that. Oh, um, sorry if this has been well produced before, Michael, but when was the last time you played alongside Dave? Um, we actually, he played in my debut game, um, but sort of this time last year. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Do so you guys play much when you were kids and things? Did you play, I suppose, maybe a bit of backyard or something, holidays or whatever? Did you have much to do with each other cricket in your lives? Oh, we, we used to go out, um, my, my family grew up in Dunedin and Doug grew up in Tauranga, so we'd see each other sort of once a year and there'd be some pretty fierce uh, backyard cricket games and and force back rugby games as well. So, yeah, we, we enjoyed a bit of competition when we were younger, but, yeah, it's it's probably a lot more fun being on the same team as him than, than coming up against him. And just back drifting to the IPL, um, when, did you, when did you find out and how did you find out? Um, yeah, I, I heard that um, that Will Jacks was, was sort of um, likely to be an, uh, get ruled out of the IPL, so I, I got a call from uh, Mike Hesson last week and he was just sounding me out from an availability point of view. So, yeah, that was the first I'd heard of it. So it's all happened really quickly. But, yeah, it's, again, it's a very exciting opportunity to get over there and, and mix it with some of the best players in the world. Did you say you have to think about it? Or? Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't think you think too much about those ones. Was it special almost like a full circle that Mike used to make that call? He was your, your first coach? Yeah, it was. Um, yeah, there's... It is a bit of a full circle there. Um, he, yeah, he he was the coach of uh, the team when I I made my first class debut. So, yeah, it, it'll be pretty cool to link up with him again and probably share a few old Otago stories along the way.